All right, good evening everybody. thought I would quickly share um, a template I've made that you can use for free that'll quickly um, make customized ornaments. Every year, my wife and I, we ship some to clients that we like to work with that year, or, and you know, a lot of relatives. So it allows you to input a custom name. Um, they can 3D print it. As an example, I'll just hold one up so you can see. You know, it's pretty enough. Just got it off the anniversary and edited it to this purpose. You can see it says Ryan 2023. So very um, efficient. And also, you ship one in a letter with one stamp. I can ship actually several in a letter, like a typical envelope. This year, we're shipping in a different envelope. So let's show the example of why this year we're using a different method than last year's YouTube video, if you see that. So, quick example, and then we'll walk through all the details and how to do it. So as you can see right now, we're saying John and Jane here. Uh, but let's say we want to change that to James and um, Janet instead. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to take like 30 seconds, and then it's going to be done. Uh, so you don't have to watch the whole computing, as you can see down there. Go ahead and pause, and I'll unpause right before it's done. All right, we're about 25 seconds, so you can see we're at 77%, and John and Jane are still there. And it finished, James and Janet. So it's that quick. You just sit down with the list, knock them all out, um, set them up for your print, and then just start your printers up. So since we have so many printers, like a whole room dedicated just for 3D printers, it's very quick for us. Um, but try to make it efficient for everybody else. So what else? Um, purposely size these, again, to fit in an envelope and to be printed in uh, both at a time. So you, instead of clicking each one and exporting that, you would right click and say save as mesh on the overall file name. And if you have the save as mesh tool, I have mine set up. If you want to just save as mesh or send to a print utility, you could. And when I click OK, I would go to here. So you see that. All right. That is the overall example. Let's go into details. If you want to reproduce this yourself, um, where to get all this information and the software, that's all free, of course. So in the description of this video, you're gonna find a link for GrabCAD. Uh, it'll take you to this page. This is just uh, something I set up and edited. I set up early in the month and just edited today. Typically, you will be able to press download files, but since I just edited it, it's not gonna let me download today, but I'll show you a workaround with that. You can see it's like, say, check back soon. All right, um, in order, just top to bottom. If you don't have Fusion 360, that's the CAD software I'm using there. Just go ahead and click this link and download that. If you're using it for personal use, it's free. Click this here, uh, get Fusion 360 for personal use, click that. Okay, uh, next you'll need the change text parameters tool. That's the tool we're using right here. It's a game changer when you're changing text because there's not a built-in way to do that in Fusion, so you need this. Um, add-in feature. So, next. Uh, next, oops. You have the file types. Uh, again, you typically click download files, but since uh, I just added this, now you know, let me download there, but I go to the files. You see two of them are pictures and one's an F3D file, which is a Fusion 360 archive file. I'm gonna click that. It's gonna open here and you can see there's download file right there. So that's gonna start downloading. Uh, I'm going to jump back into Fusion because we've completed everything we need. If you've downloaded so Fusion, you've downloaded and so the um, change text parameters, you'll be here. So I'm going to open up my data panel. I click Show Data Panel. I'm going to click Upload. You can see I have two copies here. I'm about to upload the next right there. That's the one we just downloaded. We select OK. Upload. All right, so dropped Fusion, I don't know why it does that, but uh, you can see it's now downloading here, or uploading, and you can see the progress here. So that takes about 10 seconds. See, now it's finished. We can click it and open it, and you see this, what we currently have open, says James and Janet. The one we open will be what you have, and it'll say Jared and Tiffany. That's my wife and I's name. Um, quick note, I try to avoid names with I, just don't have time to uh, figure out a creative font that avoids that, so you don't have a floating you know, dot there. But it's not a big deal. Um, you could, yeah, I sh uh, would just avoid it. Maybe use capital letters or just don't put the dot in. All right, uh, but we're in this new file. Again, we're gonna use the change text parameters. You're not gonna see it on your uh, taskbar here though if you haven't added it. So you go down to modify, change text parameters are here. Uh, and you're gonna say pin to toolbar. Click that, that'll pin it up here. So it'll be here from now on and also 
myself. If you're doing this a lot, like for a whole day, go ahead and do change keyboard shortcut and add shift T. Uh, so yours will say none here. Just hold shift and type T. You see it filled in shift T. Now you don't even have to go click that. So, you know, in CAD design, a few times as you can move the mouse around, just more efficient. So like right now I can just type shift T. Um, and you know, so it's left hand and just quick. So again, you have Jared and Tiffany. Let's change that to John and Jane. Uh, I like to add a couple spaces here since these are short names because it'll go off this outer edge. But John and Jane now, I'm gonna click OK. Again, about 30 seconds once it starts computing right there. So let me pause. All right, so it's about to finish. You can see John and Jane now. Cool. Again, all you have to do after that is save as mesh and click OK and it's going to export it to wherever you want. If you don't want to export it to a program, you just do and click the send print utility and click OK. That is it. Um, hope that was helpful to someone. Uh, the change text parameter tool is about the only difference because now you don't have to go into sketches, it takes less time. I know this will be irrelevant next year because it will say 2023 here, but I'll add to the GrabCAD um, the same link you already viewed one without a year or one with a customizable year, maybe both, uh, before next Christmas. I just want to make this quick and that compute time really low. The more complexity you add, the longer that compute time uh, goes up. But let me know if this was helpful. Uh, if you need any professional help in the future, I actually do uh, CAD design and control system design uh, actively, like full time as a freelancer. So feel free to reach out in the link in the description or if you would like some free assistance, like with simple questions, I also set up a Discord server that I check in on that you can ask simple questions with a lot of helpful people that uh, have also joined the server. Uh, that is it. Thanks. Bye.